Netflix has a new series called The Orbital Children. So today we're gonna talk about this new anime series. So let's get started. In 2045, two children born on the moon and three kids from Earth try to survive after an accident on their space station leaves them stranded. Welcome movie watchers, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. This is the first time you guys are on my channel, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any up and coming content like this. The Orbital Children is a new Netflix anime series uh, that involves uh, kids born on the moon and kids uh, traveling from Earth to space. The children born on the moon aim of immigrating to Earth and they're caught up in a collision between the station and a comet along with other children who have come to space from Earth. So the five of them meet and they have to help each other survive. They are on a station where the internet and oxygen supply have been cut off. This is a six episode anime series. I believe there will be a second part as well, but it's a really quick urgent series uh, that focuses a lot on sci-fi and I really liked a lot of what was in here what they introduced the world building all the different technology within here uh, I found it to be very fascinating uh, the things that uh, happened to these two young people that were born on the moon Toya and Konoha and they were undergoing physical therapy on the Japanese space station. Toya is 14 years old. He was the first one to be born on the moon. He hates earthlings. He is a hacker. And Konoha also was born on the space station. Both of them have implants in their brain. They're on this space hotel, which has shopping malls, restaurants, convenience stores, internet access, just like on earth. But when their lives are put at, but when their lives are threatened, they have to help each other to survive and we see the what we see the young boy who hates earthlings and the earthlings coming into space uh they immediately have this conflict so the majority of the six episodes is them trying to overcome that and help each other out i really liked how the series balanced the sci-fi moments in space and uh teen drama almost like at times and watching uh one of the young girls uh, become a space tuber and wanting to hit 100 million followers on social media. So there is a lot of characteristics to these uh, young teens that do feel familiar to other anime shows or shows that we've seen before, but it's got that nice blend of that teen drama aspect to it along with heavy sci-fi moments. And the, anima and the animation is beautiful. There is a lot of great moments in space, uh, the space station, uh, them trying to fix things within that station. It all looks really great. There's one character in particular that I fell in love with and it's a station fairy, this really large pink creature. Uh, there's a little more to this character later on in the series, but I really like what they brought to the table with this character and the look too. It's uh, different than uh, the average design for this anime series and the characters. So the station fairy uh, stood out in a good way for me within the Orbital Children. I didn't expect the series to end the way that it did. It ended on a really surprising note. There was a lot of reveals that I found to be truly shocking within here and really switched up the dynamics of this group. And since they are starting to become a little more comfortable with each other, and we start to have a lot of development for these characters it made even it made the reveals even more dramatic than i expected it to be i really fell in love with the orbital children i really liked the animation style it was very clean and bright it offered a in-depth look at the space station and it and the technology in here was really interesting but i like the characters in here from the kids that were born on the moon and how a couple of them and how one of them hated earthlings and how they had to overcome that to the kids that came to space station and how they want to be popular and vlog everything I think the dynamics worked within here when it came time to buckle down and try to save everybody that's when the true characters came out and I, they became even more likable down the road this was a fun series to watch it got that nice blend of uh, sci-fi moments with teen drama it just worked for the series it was short it felt urgent all the way throughout 
filled with great animation. Before I give you my score for The Orbital Children on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give The Orbital Children a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for the new Netflix anime series, The Orbital Children. Have you guys seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.